This week, we take on the challenge of playing Pandemic. That's right, the world has been threatened by four deadly viruses, and it's up to us to work together to put a stop to them. We'll see if we succeed or fail, as we often do in this game. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Estes. I'm Will Keeler, and this is a Roll for Crit Playback. So I think clearly yellow is our is a bit of a problem area. Well, uh, here's our first thing. Uh, what cards do you have in your hand? Because you're the doctor, so you're the one we need to. Um, well, I have. I can definitely start working towards blue. So if anyone has blue cards, that would be very good. I think I'm gonna head down to the south and just start. Maybe I'll just cure one of those. Yeah, that for now. So I'm gonna do. One, two, three, and then for my fourth action, get rid of that. No, first I draw, draw. two from here. Mm -hmm. If any of them is an epidemic, right. we all hell breaks loose. <laughs> no. And then I have to infect a couple cities. So you put okay. one on Karachi. And one on Delhi. So this is changed my strategy completely. I thought <laughs> you've drawn those two red cards you said? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, <laughs> and keep just knocking everyone over. And I'm gonna give you one of my red cards. Oh. I have another. Oh, cause so because normally you have to have the city yes, that you don't. But because I'm the researcher, so I'm just like, here's my findings. Yeah. I was thinking I would move towards the black area. Yeah, that sounds good since no one's over there. Um Do you have any cards that you could fly over there with? I do. That might I be have a Mumbai card. That might be discard that to fly there. there. Whee! So, so that's, that's one. one. <laughs> okay, three more actions, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can do one, two, and okay. then get rid of all these, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. which would be awesome. <laughs> you saved Turan. So basically, me treating the disease is like just wiping it out from that area. Yes. It was it, pretty great. For now. Okay. <laughs> one in Paris. Ah, uh, shucks. And one in London. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Actually, sort of made sense. <laughs> all right, Jonathan. Back okay. to you. So, okay, well. Can I, does your action also work for me taking from you or no? Uh, as an action, you may give or a player can take any city card from your hand. I think- No, it's, it's your action. Me, yeah. So, should I just like hang out and wait for you or should I, no, because no, the odds are no, I'll move draw up, oh, No, move over there. Just start, oh, or just get ready. Yeah, or cure one, then move over there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, all right. Epidemic? Yeah. Hopefully you read. Epidemic! Uh, so. <laughs> All right, so infection rate moves up. And draw the bottom card from the infection deck and put three cubes on that city. Tokyo! Uh-oh, three cubes on Tokyo, Neil. Oh. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, no uh, worries. It's all right. All right, so my move. Then. So we really want to get over there. Neil, Neil, start heading over there. I will. Because one, two, three. Yeah, but he won't be able to do anything yet. No, no. Oh, you're giving that to me now? Turn. Yeah, that's why I, when you uh, said you got two reds, I was like, oh, that's why I wanted you to be over there. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Uh, so I just gave him a red card, which that's means good. He, next turn, assuming he survives, we'll be able to cure it. Delhi? Oh, man, again. Oh, right, it's all the same ones. <laughs> My people. <laughs> and, uh, Tehran. Uh, uh, like, I want. Can you just fly over to one of those places now? I can't. Right? I can only move. Like normal. Well, do you have any of these cards? Uh, I have, I have Moscow. Which doesn't no, no. You might as well just walk to here and clear it all. All right. So mm. one, two, three, and just clear it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the end of my turn. And At least that won't go to three yeah. if the, that one outbreaks. Right. Right. It's yeah. It's better than nothing. Okay. So it's my turn. So very exciting. First thing I will do is trade in these four red cards. Oh man! And we have now cured the red disease, which means of communism that automatically leaves. Oh yeah, because he's in there. Well, I would say there's more bird flu. Well, communism and the bird flu are closely related. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, I can do this many times. Four. Oh, you're giving me two cards right now? Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is good. Draw one. Two, uh, well, 
This is why we need to be moving this fast. Because <laughs> we're in peril. Now it is starting to look a little scary. So now Dilly's looking like it actually is in real life. Okay, so, uh, so... Well, Neil, go ahead to there. Alright. So that's one. Of them, two. No, you take all of them. No, you do that three now because it's cure. You don't. That isn't. That's not even an action. Oh, so it's not an action. So that was one move, okay. two, three, four, and you. you oh, right hand right nice. Hand. So I don't even have to go over there. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Usually we're not that lucky. Usually. I have four yellows. Well, when I get the next yellow, should I just come out and go there? Work right. your way back. Or also, yeah. if anyone has any extra cards, we haven't built any new centers yet. Yeah. Should so I just build a center somewhere? If you have a black card like around there, that would be nice. Okay, I do. Wow, that area's not looking good. No, it is not. So that's why I really need to cure it. <laughs> yeah. So I should just go cure it. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so one. Oh, one, two. Uh, yeah, like, it just seems like that should be connected. <laughs> no, you have to go to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it just, uh, what's going on there? You know why? Because that's following the coast of America, so that makes sense for you. Like, that's yeah. actually the land. Because <laughs> it, it makes sense. You know what? I'll go this way. One, two. All right, one, two, three, four. So... This has been a very good game so far, but the problem is yellow hasn't been touched yet. As we know from all our games, this is the one that destroys us. Yeah, well, yellow hasn't been doing much at all. Right now, that is our problem area. Yeah. My turn is over, so Baghdad, of course, and Hong Kong. Nothing happens, because okay. Neil took care of... No, oh, yeah, nothing happens. Right. That's good, yeah. Yeah. I like those red cards. You're safe, Hong Kong. You're welcome. <laughs> Pandemic, I think, is the quintessential cooperative game in many people's minds. It's also, I feel like it's one of our early games. Uh, it's, it's certainly many people's one of their mm -hmm. early games. It's, it's, I think it's right in line with uh, Catan and Dominion as, as, one, as that gateway game. Right. Uh, I think one of the reasons is, like as you said, it is the cooperative game. Yeah. Is when, I think and before, you know, now from the same designer, you have Forbidden Desert and Island, which mm -hmm. are, I feel, a little more family-friendly, intentional. Well, uh, we haven't played Desert. I know Island mm, is. That's true. But uh, this is uh, a little a little more challenging, but it still oh, fits yeah, no, the same. Like, like you said in the beginning, <laughs> it, it, we are still challenged by it. Yeah, we there's three difficulties. We still usually play on the lowest one uh, and, and, sometimes, and sometimes lose. But... There, it's definitely the one that has set that benchmark, I feel, that every other co-op game uh, comes to. And I, I think there's good reason for it. Uh, I actually say not only that, I think it sets a benchmark, at least in my mind, of how a game should be packaged and the uh, components of it. Yeah, which is very important to us. <laughs> well, no, I think yeah. it is. I mean, I think they do, the box is really nice. But more importantly, this is the base. Here is the first, is one of the expansions on the brink. We'll talk about these during our expansion videos. That's right. The point is there's also a third one back there, same box size as this. All of this, including that third one, is in that box. They have it all fit, each expansion, to make it so it can fit in the other box. Which is very nice. It's, it's shocking. <laughs> and then the components are amazing. Like if you see in our video, the vials did not come with the base. But right. in the expansion, so they just gave you a really nice vial. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, it's always appreciated when the companies actually go the extra mile to, yes. make, to make sure everything fits and looks nice in the box and it's easy to organize. Right. And uh, while all the expansions add a lot of great things, in fact, a new one just came out. Uh, I forget what it's called. State of Emergency. State of Emergency. We're going to talk strictly about the base, in which is 100% cooperative. Mm -hmm. uh, there are only four diseases, not the secret fifth one. <laughs> But um, in the game, each disease generally relates to an area in which we usually try to joke and guess what the disease would be. Um, they usually are the same thing. <laughs> and we usually, uh, for some reason, we have a history of the yellow uh, losing one. because of uh, South America. <laughs> well, no, no, it could be Africa, too. It's the, it's the yellow disease. Oh, that's true, yeah. And But it's usually Johannesburg, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Johannesburg always, and always Lima? gets us. Lima? Uh, yeah, Lima. Those two, I think, are the ones that always seem to... Because there's always... You always get into a group. For I feel like in all of our games, we always start off the first few rounds like, man, we're doing so great. We're, we're just and killing it. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Yeah. And then it's all over. And it's usually because we there's like one area that we just ignored for some reason. Um, I will say there is one thing about this game. You definitely... I think difficulty is not just how you were mentioning cards. I think the roles... Because the role I was using, 
in this game, which is the uh, researcher. In each, there's different cards, and they each have their own abilities. Yes, um, which uh, usually to give uh, someone a card, you have to be in the Magic City. I can do it whenever. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, we still have to be in the same place, city, but it doesn't have to be the city on the card. That makes a huge difference because that doesn't mean like, Jonathan, you need another black card? Okay, I'll meet you over in uh, yeah. Baghdad. No, that is definitely one of the best. It, uh, yeah, roles it makes things. So I mean, much it's, it happens a lot with cooperative games. I mean, Arkham Horror has one one role. I know, just like it. Like when you play that one role, it just switches the difficulty heavily in your favor. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and also another component of the difficulty too is uh, who you're playing with. Uh, it's definitely. Um, Something of I think there's a is a bit of a learning curve and you have to kind of figure out oh which places do I need to go yeah. well no it, there's uh, what I love about this which is because it's something that actually I think uh, is really an important lesson especially in the theme of medical <laughs> oh, yeah is that you, you can't you can't uh, do the perfect thing I'm a completionist in that usually most things like in video games I gotta complete every level collect everything right that actually will probably make you lose in this game this is definitely the game yeah where you have to cut your losses and say you you, you don't try to eliminate yeah. which we did sort of in this one because it just worked really conveniently yeah but you don't want to try to eliminate all outbreaks your goal is just to get the cures right that's it yeah. This, this is gonna hurt us I can't get over I'm there I'm really scared I cannot do anything <laughs> over there alright well draw draw your two Yep. <laughs> right there. So now's the time you want to use that card. Yeah, so... Because I, so I don't we, draw the Well, black first cards. we increase it. Right. Now, what do we want to get rid of? One I card wanna, from that pile we can lose. Um, What's our worst bet? That one. Karachi or Baghdad? Uh, Baghdad. Baghdad. Alright, so get rid of the Baghdad card. This is terrifying right now. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we don't have to eradicate every disease like no. this. We just need to cure them. And where's Moscow? It's right oh, it's there. Yeah, I think... So, one, one, one two, two, three, four. Three. Because we already Wait. took out Baghdad, remember? Three, these are gone. And four of those are gone? No, remember, you just walk into a city, you already destroyed them. Uh, so, that's one, medic. two, three, four. Got it, got it. And okay. he yeah. just took care of that problem. You just literally saved the entire region. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, my people. <laughs> So, jeez. Well, now I feel like we're almost like we're almost home free now. Hey, we're only halfway there, man. <laughs> yeah, but we got rid of some of our biggest threats. Well, okay. So I am close. I'm halfway to curing blue, and Neil's pretty. Neil's very close, if not ready to cure yellow, where he is. I'm very, very ready. So I really need to find blue cards. So I should just kind of. I'm just gonna kind of hang out. I'm going to discard Sydney. So I go wee. <laughs> Oh, I feel like we never go to Sydney. <laughs> I'm gonna move here for my second move. For my third move, I'm discarding this one to build a research center. Oh, nice. Card. So, Montre- one blue in Montreal. Montreal! One black in Istanbul. Istanbul! Right there. Okay. And one blue in Paris. Howdy. Three blues up there. They all have like Pokemon sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, Paris. Yeah. Istanbul. All this right. <laughs> he could go to the place to cure yellow. Yeah, do it. Or <laughs> he can go one, two, three, four, just to get get black, so we don't have to worry about black cards. For... I have another option. I have another. What's another option? option? I go one, two, three. Get rid of all these. Play the Baghdad card. And yeah, I say do that. Yeah, and then well, just no, you, it there. You, you don't need to play any cards. You can go one. No, because he's going to oh, build a cure. center. Oh, okay. I think that's the best of And then just worlds. cure it, and it's all in one turn. Okay. Kinshasa. Kinshasa. The place I want to visit. Are you serious? Santiago. Well, I wanted to at one point. Santiago. Uh-oh. You know what? Because we hadn't had yellows for forever, so now they're starting to pop up. Yeah. All right. So you're finished. It's my turn. Yep. I feel like I'm gonna get an epidemic at the end of my turn. Can you make your way over to there? Uh, yes, I can. But it'll take my whole. Where does this? It'll be oh, worth it because then you'll be able to cure blue oh. on your turn. That means then we only need to survive. This has been an oddly very good game. Yeah, for a standard mode too. <laughs> I'm feeling very, very comfortable with this. I feel so bad. They're not gonna see how game. how how evil no, this game is. They need a, they need a triumph. You need a trap. <laughs> Oops. Wait. What? 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 No, never nothing. I'm fine. We're good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Oops, I never I, actually I, had any of those cards. I, I forgot I already built that, and I thought I just carded the card for it. So, so Neil. Neil's yes. turn. <laughs> Do your thing. So I'm using these. Discarding these to, to cure. So that's five. To cure what? Say it with gusto. Yellow. Yeah, the yellow disease. We don't have a name for the disease, it's just yellow. No, we do not. The bile disease. That's yeah, no, like, we somehow got two eradicated. We're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're about to win. So I'm gonna go to Jakarta. Oh, surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to discard after that. <laughs> 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 it's not a good surprise. All right. I'm actually the bio terrorist. I got four blue cards here. I uncure these. Including Essen. <laughs> that I'm trading in as the Scantist. Which and means... Blue you... is now cured. Boing! Did we just win? High five. Come on. <laughs> not, how, not how high fives work. It is, it's not? Is this how they camera. work? This is on camera. This You're going to is... have to look at this when you edit the video. That's not all I'm going to have to Why are your hands so sweaty and cold? What's, how can they You're be like sweaty like a vampire that's cold. ran too much. <laughs> that's probably the sweat from your hands. Oh, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's something that, you know, because that's a common problem with co-op games that people talk about, which we've talked about, is the whole alpha uh, player thing. And I think this is definitely one where you have to... It encourages everyone to be like, well, I you should do this is what you should do. Everyone should like kind of tries to work together to come up with the best plan of attack. And well, I, I do think though you do want someone actually though to take the lead in this, just like in the real like not full alpha <laughs> on like just telling, but someone just to. Sort I mean, of it, keeping... uh, it depends. I don't know. I, I I think you should you always have because there's only four players. It's a four player right. max game, so it's not you're usually not. Uh, like getting lost, like there's not so many people that you're shouting over each other or anything like that. Um, and sometimes, you know, sometimes it's because one person will be like, "I really need this," but you have to be like, "Well, I that's not as important as going over here and doing this." Right. No, that's <laughs> what I mean though. Like there could be someone like, "Oh, I'm curious." Like, wait, no, wait. You, uh, Jonathan really needs that black card. You got to get to him to give that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely depends on your on your play style, and that's another and your thing, group too. Yeah. Where uh, it comes into the fact that your hands are technically hidden, hidden uh, but you can kind of tell people what you have, which I guess there's probably variations on that right. people use. Uh, yeah, and I, that's an interesting thing where uh, it makes sense. Like you want to tell each other what you have. You have to really. Right. There's no way to to avoid it. But uh, I was just thinking how this yeah. is really funny, how Pandemic is so big. It's like a ton, which has a lot of different versions, mm -hmm. which we have played, such as there's uh, Pandemic The Cure, which we'll have a playback for. Right. But then there's also the Pandemic, uh, I forget what it's called, the one we actually play is the Diseases. Oh, Pandemic Contagion. Contagion, mm -hmm. which is actually not co uh, cooperative. Right. <laughs> which is interesting. And coming out, which we are both very excited to play, Pandemic Legacy. Yeah, so this is definitely one that's... It's it's earned its spot in the like board no. game hall of fame. Yeah, no. It, if you are new to board games, this is definitely a place to start. If you're a veteran and you haven't played this, this should be the next game you play. This yeah. is worthy on well, every shelf. I definitely think I could see if you, like if you played a lot of co-op games. I think it's another one of those situations like Dominion where if you've played everything that came after it, you might come back to it and be like what's the big deal? I've already played these games. I I still feel I think you'll still enjoy it. I just don't know if – I could see a veteran gamer who's never gotten around to it kind of being like, well, I've been well, there, done that. I think – I mean you can probably find a board game library at some time and I think it's still worth like yeah, having no, the experience. I'm it's <laughs> like, you know, there's some old movies that probably don't look good, but I think because of what they maybe brought. Yeah, I know. I agree. It's, I mean it's definitely valuable and stuff there. What I like is because I feel uh, this is very easily – at least to explain if you're playing like with your family or something who maybe aren't as big into board games. First of all, cooperative games are always the way to go. Because then you don't feel nearly as bad if you're like playing, okay, Seven Wonders, and I built a huge army and just crushed all of you. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's always a plus. I agree. It's a good way. To, it's a good thing to introduce to people. And people really get into it, too. Yeah. It's, and well, that, the other thing that's really nice is it's not unbelievably complicated. You know, it's not, it doesn't have like, okay, there's your weapon deck, there's your uh, military deck. Remember, you're going all for weapons. I said the most complicated part of the game is actually setting it up. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's one thing that does sometimes. Uh, I don't know if there's a better way to do it. The the part where you have to separate the deck into multiple piles and shuffle things in. That's... I don't know. To me, I, I sometimes feel it's a little... 
I just wish there was a more elegant way of, of no, doing it. I don't think so. <laughs> that's agree because to disagree. <laughs> I think that's fine. I think it gets the point across of nicely dividing the or trying to nicely divide the epidemic. So because, I mean, there's always like it's a good way to, but there's still a chance when you do that that you end up with two right next to each other or two really far apart from each right, other. Right, but I mean, it's better than shoveling this going. I mean, how many times in Legendary have we been like? Well, maybe, uh, uh, strike, strike, strike. Well, we lost. Yeah, but that's why I think it might be a way if if it was like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe like every so many rounds, you know there's an epidemic coming up. Well, I think that that's part of the, you don't want that. I think you want the epidemic to be random. Yeah. Or else you'd be like, okay, everyone, we know an epidemic is coming. Like just bunker, you shouldn't be able to bunker down. I, I agree. I, guess, I think it's just one of those situations where uh, as a, if like, if it were a, Digital, that would make perfect sense to me, but I just physically the actual act of doing it, I find boring. <laughs> so uh, that's why I think it's that's why I say inelegant. But it, it it's a it's a it's a good way to keep it random, but not with all still trying to be fair. And of course, there's more difficult things you can add, add more to it. add more of them. Yeah, um, the expansion expansions add a lot. One more. adds, I believe, a bioterrorist, which <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta love that. Again, we'll get to all those yes. in other in other videos. But yeah, so I, I, you know, pandemic, like we said, we we probably you don't really need to hear us tell you about it. Right. It <laughs> yeah. has a uh, very good legacy. Not referring to the game, actually, in terms of the <laughs> games that have the pandemic title. I'm sure more to come, mm -hmm. and uh, more that we are going to look forward to. Yeah. So pandemic is available on our store for sale on our website, which is rollforcrit.com. There's lots of other stuff there as well. More videos, more playbacks like this one, more games that you get to watch us play and news. And again, Pandemic and all its expansions for sale. And of course, if you want to help fight the disease, you should subscribe to this video right there. You can subscribe, you can subscribe on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Yeah, uh, at roll for crit or our own Twitters. Mm -hmm. And there's our email address where you can talk to us at roll, sorry, roll for crit at gmail.com let us know if you've played pandemic or if there's certain modes you like certain things you think are a bit too strong too weak too unfair let us know yeah it's uh, it's definitely a game that that i'd say belongs in, the, in, a, in everyone's uh collection but but again <laughs> i know i feel a little more that uh it's the it's the it's the it's the basics of co-op it's the essentials uh, but uh yeah for now I think uh, it's time that you go and try it out. But, uh, so we'll wait in here. So I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and you've been watching Roll for Crit Playback.